So I'm getting ready to replace the mode door actuator in my Ford Expedition. This one happens to be a 14. And when this goes, you may not get all the settings that switch between floor, mid-level, and defrost. And I'll show you how to replace this actuator. It's pretty easy. So here's the part number for the Motocraft actuator right here. I'll put a link in the description of this video over to it. And uh, you can buy it off Amazon. So this mood door actuator is up under the driver's side. And it is right there. It's an actuator with the red tab on it. The easiest way to get at this is to remove the gas pedal, which isn't really that big of a deal. There's three bolts. Here's one bolt there, there, there. They're all 13 millimeters. So I'm going to take this off now and move it to the side. Getting that top on right now. It's owe me something. All right. I can lower the pedal down and out of your way. So now the actuator is right here. So I'm gonna pull this little tab down like that. There's a little tab to push in, pull the wire out, and now there's two 8mm screws that we have to go after to, um, to unbolt it. Okay, so one of the bolts is at the top right here, and I'm kind of laying my back upside down doing this. It's probably the best position to be in, my back's on the floor. If you have wide shoulders or anything, it's tight. <laughs> okay, here's the bottom one. It's literally two screws to hold the thing in. Should just pull it right out of here. There you go. Okay, so here's the mode door actuator I just took out, and here's my replacement forward part. And they're the same thing. What I like to do is whenever it comes to electrical stuff, I like to replace electrical stuff with factory OE electrical components whenever possible. They're just made better. All right, so what I had to do was with this keyway, there's an arrow right here. The replacement part that I got, the, the flat spots lined up with the arrow. The one I took out was off, so I put my actuator back in the truck and I put the setting on floor and it lined up with this arrow perfectly. And uh, you can't really rotate this by hand. I didn't want to put a screwdriver into the um, into the thing inside the, the housing and spin it that way, which I probably could have, but yeah, I didn't want to really mess anything up that way. So if it's not lining up, uh, the easiest way to do it is what I did. Just put this back in. You don't have to bolt it in. Connect the wire to it. Hold it in with your hand. Then put it on the floor setting. And uh, it should line up with that arrow. All right, I'm going to put my new one back in. All right, so I'm getting ready to put my new uh, mode door actuator in. And there it goes. It'll go right into place for you. All right, I got that one. These two screws up. I'm really liking the socket too much. A little wobbly. All right, that one's tight. I just want to snug them up, you don't have to crank down on them. Okay, that's all set. And then you're going to take your connector. And then push the red tab down to lock it into place. Okay, so get your gas pedal back in place. And I put all the screws and caught them all by hand. You want to catch them by hand. And just take uh, your socket and kind of run them down. That's my light. Get them all started by hand. All right, I'm gonna grab my ratchet and snug them all up. Okay, so I just used my ratchet and snug those three bolts up. I just got them all hand tight so they're seated. They're in there pretty good. All right, let's stop my truck.
set all the different settings. Right now it's on vent. It's coming out of the vent grid. It's the setting it's supposed to be on. And it just switched to the floor and vent. It's perfect. Now it's on floor and defrost. And I can feel the defroster on, so that's all set.